Hi, I'm Darlene. And I'm Marty. Over a few last few months, people have been asking, what do we take on extended trips with us? So we're going to give you the rundown on a few things that we think are important to take with us. So let's get going. Woohoo! <laughs> So as you guys know, we go to Mexico for several months over the winter, basically snowbirds escaping this cold Canadian winter. And there's a lot of things that you be thinking, can I get it there? Oh my God, I should take everything with me. Don't do that. You don't need to be taking tons of suitcases of things that you can get there for basically the same price or even cheaper than what it is here. Uh, in most cities, you'll be able to find Walmarts or Shadrawis, mega stores. Some of the larger cities like Cancun um, even has Costco's, Ikea's. So you don't need to be taking everything with you. What you wanna do is make sure that you're taking things that are either very expensive there or not available there. And when I say not available, don't worry about taking your brand of ketchup. They have ketchup. They may not have your brand, or if they do, it's gonna be more expensive because it's imported. So be more open-minded and get the Mexican brands or the brands that they have there locally. Uh, the other thing you can do if you're not going to purchase things there is you can order online from Amazon uh, Mexico or um, there's another one I can't think of the name right now. But we did that several times as we just ordered off Amazon Mexico. It was delivered to our house or to one of their storage hubs where you pick things up. And that worked out great too. As far as addresses go, make sure you understand how it works. It's a little tricky down there. The best address we found to use was the one found on your electric bill or water bill. The house numbering in some areas is a little confusing and it often doesn't... Uh, coincide with the addresses that delivery companies have. The other thing is you're probably going to have friends or family coming down to visit while you're there. So have them be your mule. Say, okay, if you're coming, you need to bring me this. Everyone that comes to see me must bring me one bag of red licorice. <laughs> so as far as food, there's only a couple things that we even bother to bring. Red licorice is one. I take a couple packs of those. They don't have it in Mexico. They don't have licorice in Mexico. <laughs> oh, and chips. We don't bring chips with us. We're not that bad. But the flavors there are very different than the flavors that we have here. So you got to try those. Uh, the one thing we bring is I bring Miracle Whip. And that's because I'm allergic to mayonnaise. I have an egg allergy, so I cannot have mayonnaise. I can only have Miracle Whip. So I bring that. Uh, we bring tea for Marty. They have tea down there, but it's all herbal teas and stuff. You can't find just, just Earl Grey tea, right? Just plain black tea plain is black hard tea. to find down there. Yeah, so we bring tea with us. Um, last year, I did bring some a couple spices with us because I had problems the year before finding them, and that was Italian seasoning and onion flakes. Again, I like the flavor of onion but I don't like to eat onions so yeah I use on onion flakes but that's really about all the food that we take everything else you can get there the grocery stores have them just as cheap a couple things to bring that you simply can't get down there ant traps uh, they just don't seem to exist uh, the ants can be pretty annoying and they're pretty sneaky and they often get into your house so think about that um, another thing that's hard to find down there is really good canadian style uh, insect repellent with deet in it uh, in my opinion if you don't have deet you're not going to be protected from mosquitoes and we have tried all the eco-friendly things and everything but they just don't work for us. So we need deed. Uh, bring a sharp knife. Uh, it's a strong recommendation for me. Uh, I like to slice tomatoes and other things that get all squishy if you're using a dull knife. So bring along a sharp knife and perhaps a knife sharpener. That is one thing that everyone says down there is their place never has a sharp knife. <laughs> hmm. 
And then what else we got here? Hangers, a small non serrated knife, Ziploc baggies, command hooks. That's those ones that uh, you can stick to the wall and they get off easily without destroying the paint. It's a great way to hang up backpacks, hats, that sort of thing. Uh, you'll find that uh, many houses in Mexico don't have front hall closets with hangers and hooks and that sort of thing. Just make sure you take them down before you leave. Batteries. For some reason, they're very expensive in Mexico. I would say about a dollar each for AA batteries. And as you know, you can buy them for probably 20 or 30 percent of that if you get a big bulk pack at the uh, local store. Uh, remember to put those in your carry-on. They're not allowed in regular luggage. And I will say we went through a ton of batteries because you know every room has an air conditioner and for some reason well I guess we were there for several months but every single one of them the batteries died in and then the remote for the TV and so we did go through a lot of batteries so we'll make sure we take more back this year and so we took double A's triple A's and D's for your smoke detector yeah if you don't have a smoke detector in your unit that should be the first thing you buy at the local hardware store yeah it's just a safety thing uh, another tip is to bring a HDMI cable you can hook your laptop or your tablet up to your TV and uh, tune in your favorite uh, Netflix or Disney Channel or whatever using your uh, laptop as a driver for the television picture. Uh, another thing to bring along is a uh, plug-in uh, charger. You can. It's basically a, uh, a, a regular multi-USB. Yeah. Charger. There, there you go with the little plug-in so you can charge your phone and whatnot. It's uh, very convenient. You can keep it uh, by your bed at night. Plug your phone in and have a charged up battery in the morning and an alarm clock that works if you need it. Yeah, we actually brought about three of these. One for each side of our bed and one for the kitchen because you've got so many devices and things you have to charge up now like your iPad and your phone, maybe a USB cord, your earphones. So it was always being used. Another thing, if you have room, tuck in a roll of plastic wrap. For some reason, the plastic wrap in Mexico is a little annoying. It's, it's hard to uh, uh, work with. It's too clingy. And it, anyway, think about it. It's a fight. I don't know what. It's like they put glue on it. You can't get it off the roll. And then if you do get it off the roll, it's just a ball. It's just a mess. It's ridiculous. It's, it's quite funny. So this year, we're bringing our own saran wrap. <laughs> Of course, if you're spending time down there, you're going to want to entertain yourself. A uh, deck of cards, crib board, uh, books, and puzzles. We've figured out that puzzles are quite expensive down there. You're going to pay uh, more for a puzzle there than you will at the uh, used bookstore locally. A little trick that we do is take it out of the big square puzzle box into a baggie along with a cutout of the picture and it doesn't take up much more room than a couple of t-shirts. Speaking of that, um, when you are packing, uh, I think personally it's more important to bring stuff like that funny little puzzle than it is a bunch of t-shirts that you can buy very cheaply down there. So, um, That's a man talking? I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other things that we bring along are for our backpacks, go to the dollar store and just get those little tiny rain ponchos. They're a buck or two bucks, throw them in the bottom of your backpack. So when you have one of those sudden downpours, you've always got something with you. We do have good rain jackets with us as well. Uh, but really most of the time you're out and then it just happens. So if you've got one of those, that'll save you. And small compact umbrellas, again, you're gonna want to well, I don't carry it around all the time, but if it looks like it might be rain, then I'll carry it around. 
tiny little flashlights because when you're out at night, the one thing about Mexico and several places that you might be, sidewalks are not that great. Um, there could be rebar sticking up, there could be holes and obstacles. So I always bring a little flashlight that I take with me when we go out for dinner at night. A couple other small things that we take are small microfiber towels. And the reason we take these is if we decide we're gonna go away for a couple days to Cozumel or Merida or whatever, we wanna take a towel with us. Uh, so this is small and compact and it fits easily into our backpack or even if we're going to the beach, it dries quickly and yeah, those are good. And the other thing that we just got, last year we found we were carrying water around with us all the time and using up a lot of um, disposable bottles because we don't want to carry the weight around in our backpack with a big thermos bottle or whatever. So this year I found these compact water bottles. So when they're not being used, they're very tiny, but when you want to use them, you just open them up. And I've actually used these on the airplane a few times and they're like a plastic or rubber, I don't know. Anyways, um, so we use this we can leave the house with this full and then when it's empty we just uh, squish it down to nothing and it takes up no room in our backpack handy dandy mm -hmm. if you're planning on doing some biking either renting or actually owning a bicycle down there i would strongly recommend that you bring down a toolkit even if you're planning to rent uh, just having a very basic toolkit in your backpack will be handy if you have a small problem like your chain coming off and getting jammed against the wheel like they always do. Uh, it's something to consider. I've modified my toolkit to the point where I can fix just about anything that goes wrong around the house or on a bicycle if we're out on a little adventure somewhere. Yeah, so the other thing uh, to just add on to that is think about what activities you're going to be doing. If you're going to be snorkeling, like we took our snorkel mask and stuff down with us, we didn't take our life jackets, we didn't take our flippers. Um, we just, if we wanted to jump in the ocean and do a little snorkel on our own, we could do that. We didn't have to rent gear or anything. But if you're going on excursions, they usually supply all that stuff for you. Um, if you're going to play pickleball or golf or anything like that, consider what you want to take for those activities as well. Uh, basically, now we're to the point where we've done this for, I guess this is going on our third year now, and we're, we're realizing that just about everything is available there. We, we even found a place called Waldo's, which is kind of like a Canadian dollar store. So you can pick up hangers there, you can pick up clothes pins, you can pick up plastic baskets and saran wrap that you can't get out of the box and all kinds of things there. So. Take your clothes, take the things for the activities that you're going to be using and figure out the rest. If you get down there and you find that you really need something that you can't find, the next friends that come down, ask them to bring it for you. A few last minute items. Uh, a little first aid kit is very handy. If you get a bug bite or fall off your bike or something, it's nice to have some band-aids to tidy things up. The uh, other thing is prescriptions. If you can talk your doctor into giving you a long-term supply of prescriptions, that's great. You can get them down there. Just about everything is available. Um, and if you did run short, we, we go down for quite a long time. We'll be down for five months this year. Mm -hmm. the, if you do run out, uh, going to the doctor is very inexpensive there. It might cost you $30. $30, $40 to go to the doctor and get the prescription you need. And they're all available in the local pharmacies. Yeah. We even had to get one prescription that we couldn't find anywhere. And one pharmacist just said, I'll just order it in for you. It'll be here in two days. No problem. So that's pretty much it. That's what we take. Um, let us know if there's something that you find that's really important down there that you can't find where you are and you feel you have to take it with you. Otherwise, we'll be heading back to Mexico in another seven weeks, so we can't wait. We're starting to pack things up now. 
Oh, the other thing I should say is when we get home from one trip, I have a big Rubbermaid tote upstairs in our storage room. And for the next six months, as we're going about our life here, I just start throwing things in there that I know I'm going to want to take down there, like the little rain jackets or an umbrella or flashlight, uh, some new puzzles for Marty, books, those kind of things just get thrown in there. And then when it comes time to start packing in a few weeks, half the stuff's already there and I just dump it into a small suitcase and we're done. So. Just about everything we've talked about does fit into one suitcase. It sounds like a lot of stuff, but actually it packs in pretty tight and we get it down there, no problem. Yeah, just make sure you don't throw any liquids in your carry-on. <laughs> <laughs> so help us grow our channel. We're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe and mucho gracias. Adios. Bye.